digestion and absorption introduction digestive system we know energy is required to perform basic or fundamental properties of life and food stuff provide us energy we take food stuff or any edible material as food but this food is in complex form unable to reach in our body cells so this complex form of food should be break down into simple form of food this is the digestion digestion is a process by which complex food stuff is converted into simple food stuff for example if we add take rice that is a carbohydrate after digestion glucose is formed if we add take meat or fish that is protein after digestion amino acid is produced and if we add take lipid then after digestion fatty acid and glycerol are formed so these glucose amino acid or fatty acid and glycerol are in product or simple form of carbohydrate protein and lipid respectively digestion is a process in animal body where ingestion and digestion of food absorption and assimilation of digested food material and ejection of undigested part of the food takes place is called digestion and the structures associated with digestion is called digestive system digestive system components of digestive system it is are divided into two parts one is alimentary canal and two digestive gland we shall discuss about alimentary canal alimentary canal is a tube like structure which starts in mouth and ends in anus and different part of this tube is a differentiated or developed into many specialized structures main parts of the alimentary canal are number 1 mouth or oral cavity then pharynx then esophagus and then stomach and then intestine intestine is again divided into small intestine and large intestine again small intestine is are uh, divided into duodenum jejunum and ileum and this large intestine is again divided into cecum 
colon then rectum then anal canal and anus so these are the different parts of alimentary canal now we shall uh, discuss about mouth or oral cavity this is the figure this is the diagram of mouth or oral cavity now mouth or oral cavity this is oral cavity as a cavity it is covered anteriorly by lips upper lips and lower lips and laterally by cheeks here this is upper lip and this is lower lip our cheeks and lips are externally covered by skin whereas cheeks and lips are internally covered with mucous membrane just see here this is mucous membrane and this is this is a mouth a cavity it is a cavity certainly in a, in case of in any cavity there is a floor and there is a roof roof of the mouth cavity is called palate and palate is divided into two parts just you uh, imagine so roof of the uh, mouth is palate this is palate here this is palate this is palate if you touch your tip of the tongue on palate anteriorly you feel hard but if you touch posterior part of your palate with the tip of your tongue just like this your feeling it is soft so palate is divided into anterior hard palate and posterior soft palate now here our mouth cavity within the floor there is tongue and our mouth cavity internally bounded with gum and teeth front, front side and lateral side now look at this diagram you know this is your tongue this is your tongue this is your tongue and this is your palate this is soft palate this is soft palate and this is your hard palate This is your hard palate. This is upper lip and this is lower lip. And see here, posterior part of the soft palate is extended to form a conical projection. And this conical projection is called uvula. Uvula and this is gum and teeth. You know we have different types of teeth. These are different types of teeth. These two teeth is 
incision this teeth is canine these two are premolar and this is one molar this is second molar and this is third molar so we have one two three four five six seven eight eight teeth in one half and there is another eight teeth on other half so in case of our lower gum there are 16 teeth and in case of your upper jaw this is upper jaw here we will find another 16 teeth so this is all about mouth or oral cavity and this mouth and oral cavity it communicates posteriorly with pharynx so next part of oral cavity is pharynx look at this image this is inside view of oral cavity this is the floor of the oral cavity where we find tongue gum and teeth and this is the roof of the oral cavity this is the palate this is the palate this region is heart palate and this is soft palate and this conical projection of soft palate is called uvula okay and this is upper gum and upper teeth this is upper lip and this is lower lip now what is the function of oral cavity it receives food from outside and in the oral cavity there is tongue tongue helps in the mixing of food with saliva and on tongue there are test parts and those test parts help to perceive us the taste of food and now within the oral cavity the food is mixed with saliva and is masticated by teeth and as a result bolus is formed the masticated food mixed with saliva is converted into bolus and now this bolus is swallowed okay